What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cardinar? Hello right there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited for checking out Cosmic Windbout from Kaplow Games. This is for two to seven players, ages seven plus. It'll take you about 20 minutes to play. And in Cosmic Windbound, this is a light push your luck dice game we're going to try to get to x amount of points but this game's a little bit unique because in most push your luck dice games you're able to stop whenever the heck you want not so much in this game because you're going to have very limited times when you can stop will you wimp out i don't know let's open it up and we'll check it out all right then, we're going to take a look at what you're getting inside of Cosmic Wimp Out. First and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule booklet. It's two pages, double sided. It's got pictures, illustrations, examples, all the stuff you like to see in a well done rule booklet. And this is a well done rule booklet, even though there's a lot of stupid flavor decks like all over here and all back here. They really could have compressed it down to one page, but that's neither here nor there. I'm glad they didn't because it is a well done rule booklet and I'll have you up and running in no time at all. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in the cons is that there is a theme to this game, but I don't know what the hell the theme is. You're in space and you're trying not to wimp out. There's UFOs and lightning and who the hell knows. You're trying to get freight trains or I, I, I honestly don't know. The theme is completely bizarre and out there. So in this game, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to score X amount of points. It says in the rules they recommend going to 500 points, but you can go to whatever number you want. And on your turn, you're going to be rolling these five dice. These five dice are the stars of the show. And what you're trying to do on your turn is either get the numbers, which you will set over to the side because they will give you points. So that's there's 10 and 5. Or you're trying to get three of these symbols right here. The symbols would be either six stars or three triangles or two UFOs or four lightning bolts. Also, there's one black die, which is special because it's going to have a couple different things on it. Uh, it will have or it will have one different thing on it, which is going to have the wild sun, and the wild sun is a wild, so we can count as forever you want. So we'll just go into the gameplay real quick, and you'll see exactly how it works. Now, what's interesting about this game is that normally in Push Your Luck games, you can stop whenever you want. However, in this game, you will not be able to stop whenever you want. There's going to be three different times that you cannot stop whenever you want, and I'll show you those, and we'll show you how the games work. So on your turn, you're going to roll all five of your dice. You're going to see if you scored any points. You're going to set those points to the side. So we almost got ourselves a what's called a, a flash, which is three of these, but unfortunately, we did not. So none of these things are going to to score. However, this 5 and this 10 are going to score. They're going to score 15 points at the end of the round, and we would then have the choice to either stop or continue going normally. However, in this game, the, one of the first rules is on your first time you're about to score any points, you have to score at least 35. Why? I don't know. So at this point, you are forced to continue rolling. You can't just take your 15 points and run, so you're only going to roll your three remaining dice. Let's see what we got. Boom, we got another 10 and we got another 5. So we are now up to 30 points, which means even though we have 30 points and we only have one die left to roll, we have to continue to go because, uh, because of the roll. So we roll it again, and we got a 5, which was going to put us exactly at 35. Now, you might be saying, oh, we got the uh, the, the three fives, which means we're going to score a flash. No, because you have to roll them all at the same time. So now you would say, all right, we got a 35, we can stop. Well, there's that brings me to the second rule, which is that if you have used all of your dice to score points, you have to continue to keep going. So this game kind of forces you to keep going. So we have 35, and now we pick up all our dice, and we are forced to continue to roll them. So at this point, we scored two fives, so we are at 45 points, which would mean that we now have the option to finally stop or to go. And at this point, we might say we're going to stop, and we would stop with our 45 points, and it would be a great turn. Or you could continue to roll and see what you've got on here. Now let's pretend that you do continue to roll, and this happens. So if this happens, you get zero points. You have wimped out, which means you would have zero points. You would pass your car, your the dice over to the next player, and then when it gets back to you, it's your turn again, and you have to score 35 once again before you can stop. Now there's one more rule in when you cannot stop, and that is when you roll a flash. So let's pretend our first roll looked like this right here. So we have three sixes and this guy. So this is a great roll. We would put these three sixes over to the side. This is going to score us 60 points. We have a 10 right here, which is going to score us 70 points. So this is great. You're like, you obviously want to stop right now because we have 70 points. 
But whenever you roll a flash, you have to continue to go. You don't have a choice. No, naughty, you keep going. Which means you now need a 5 or 10 here, or else you are screwed. And unfortunately, we are screwed, which means we would get absolutely zero points. So the three instances where you need have to continue to roll is if it's your first turn and you didn't score 35. You roll a flash, which remember is three of any like kind. So this would be 40 points, but you would have to continue to roll because it's a flash. Or... If you uh, you used all five of your dice and scored all five of your dice, which at point which point you're going to have to continue to roll, but most people at that point would actually continue to roll. Now there's one other thing that I forgot to mention, and that is that you can also get what's called a freight train. And a freight train it doesn't happen too often, but it can happen is when you get five of the same symbol and the same roll. So if you were able to do this, you were going to score a lot of points. This is going to score you 400 points, which is huge. Next. If you get the uh, the five, you're going to get all fives, I should say. You're going to get 500 points. If you get the little alien freight train with the uh, the two thews on it, you're going to get 200 points. And so if you get the 10, you're assuming you get 1,000 points, right? No, you don't, because that means you instantly lose the game. Uh, if you get the six, you instantly win the game. Why? I don't know. That's because that's the rules. Anywho, you continue to go around rolling dice, trying to not whip out, uh, stopping when you can stop, and seeing who's going to get to X amount of points. First, whoever does is going to trigger the end of the game. Once you get to the end of the game, what's going to happen is everyone else is going to have one more turn to try and top the person uh, try, try and top that person. If they are able to do that, then the person who originally won the game is going to try and have another turn to top that person. And the other person is going to have a turn to try and top that person. And it will go back and forth until someone cannot top the other person with a turn, at which point they will be the winner of Cosmic Wimp Out. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alright then, Cosmic Wimp Out from Kaplow Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, the game is not going to be for everybody because, well, it's a very, very light dice rolling push your luck game. There's nothing new here, nothing revolutionary. It's just a light dice game, which means it's going to be completely random what you roll, and some people are not going to like that. Also, the game is very tedious. You're going to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again until someone gets to a certain amount of points, at which point they will win. That's it. There's not too much strategy here aside from the push your luck element. Which, speaking of the push your luck element, some people are not going to like the fact that the game does not let you stop whatever you want. In fact, there are three main situations that uh, you can't, or there's two, I should say, where you can't stop, and some people are not going to like that. Also, one of the situations is you have to score 35 points in the first round, or you don't score any points, and that's stupid. Stupid, dumb, I don't understand that. I think that's a dumb rule. And speaking of dumb rules, if you roll five tens, you're immediately eliminated from the game. That that's another dumb rule. Nobody likes that. What if you roll five tens the first time? It's highly improbable, but, you know, it's it's just, you know, that's a dumb rule. Uh, they should have made that if you roll five tens, you automatically win the game, which would be a dumb rule, but it would be less of a dumb rule. Uh, continuing on where it says two to seven players, I'm not going to recommend the seven players. Hypothetically, you could play this with a million players, but I feel like the, about the sweet spot is two to four or five. Any other cons I have of this game? Not really that I can think of. Oh, it's it's probably out of print. It's from like the 1970s. But moving on to the pros, Cosmic Whip Out is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I first started off and I was like, this is going to be dumb. And the first game I was like, eh, I don't like this. The second game I was like, yeah, it's not, this isn't as terrible as I thought it was. And the third game I was like, yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of dig it. And, and I actually do kind of enjoy this game. And there's a couple of reasons why. First, it's very simple to learn, very simple to teach. It's not going to scare off any new people. If you bust this out when you got, you know, 25, 30 minutes free with non-gamers, they're not going to be intimidated by this game at all. Uh, also, I like how... I thought I was not going to like that it wouldn't the game wouldn't let you stop when you wanted to stop. However, I did actually kind of enjoy it. It actually made those situations where you can stop like a more difficult decision because it's like, oh man, I might not get to stop if I keep going, but I don't want to stop right now because I didn't get this many points this round. And so it actually makes the decision a little bit more interesting, at least in my opinion. I also like how the mechanism works at the end of the game, where if someone reaches, say, X amount of points, say if you're playing to 500, uh, everyone else is going to have one more turn to try and go jump over that person. And I really love this mechanism. But if you do jump over that person, let's say you get to 520 points, then that person is going to have one more attempt to try and jump on top of you, which they will. then you'll have another attempt to try and jump on top of them. And I like that back and forth way that it does that. Uh, the dice are perfectly serviceable. The rule booklets, uh, it's a little bit cheesy, but it's pretty well done. 
Uh, and overall, Cosmic Whipbot is not a bad, light, dice-rolling, push-your-luck game. If you can find it at a thrift store, which is probably about the only place you're going to find it, it might be one worth checking out if you were in the market for a light, light, very light, dice-rolling game. Oh, one last thing I want to mention is I enjoy the portability of it. It's very small, throw it in a book bag, purse, anything like that. You'll be able to take it wherever you want. So that is Cosmic Whipbot from Kaplow Games. One that's not one that you need to hunt down, but if you happen to stumble upon it and you like light dice rolling games, one you might want to check out. So that is Cosmic Wimp Out. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and in the comments below. Let me know, have you ever dressed up like a Viking? No, I don't think I have. I've worn a Viking helmet, but that's about it. So if you ever dressed up like a Viking, why did you? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.